Welcome back. It's time for a rave review. Up first, you know how I love a good cooking show. Well, there's a new one dropping today on Netflix. It's called Baking Impossible. Yeah, I like that kind of. It's impossible to bake this because it you know what it reminds me of guys. Here's what it reminds me of: taking like Lego Masters and Ace of Cakes, the old show I used to like, and if they had a baby, it would be like uh, this show, Baking Impossible. A lot of gimmicks. They're like, how can we make a cooking show but make it different? How about you make objects that have to move out of cake? I mean, this is kind of what I'm talking about here, guys. Coming out today, Baking Impossible. Take a look. Welcome to the inventive and delicious world of Baking Impossible. Are you guys ready for this? The country's best bakers and smartest engineers have come together to form nine teams. I'm Mario. Joey. Boundaries will be broken. Unimaginable cakes will be created. They'll bake and build incredible engineered mouth-watering marbles that will be put to the ultimate test. <laughs> Science has never tasted so sweet. We're demanding incredible ingenuity to make the impossible just about possible. I thought it was a tin. Oh my gosh. Hey, leave the illusions to me. <laughs> I love learning new things because I'm super competitive at anything I put my hands in. I don't let kids win. I'm sorry. They're going to have to think about a lot of their structural choices. What materials they use. I'm making edible glue. Ooh. What is the weight distribution of those materials? Oh. If it works, I'll feel pretty smart. If it doesn't work, oh, I'll still feel pretty smart, honestly. <laughs> I want to see a variety of edible mediums across all the machines, and the options are limitless here. Let's taste it. How you've managed to get that cake so moist is amazing. This is a show-stopping, magnificent dessert. Because this is baking impossible. We do crazy stuff with cake. Here's what I wish we had. I wish we had taste division because you know you see all these cooking shows and they create these engineering feats with cake. But do they really taste good? Like seriously, how can you make this thing that, like you saw a car in there, you saw a boat, you saw things made of cake, but it also needs to taste good. The whole point of cake, in my opinion, is to taste good. It can look amazing, but I really want that perfect piece of cake, guys. Not even kidding. Um, the show is fun. I've watched a few of the episodes, and I mean, they come up with crazy creative things. And it's a fun show overall. I mean, great for the family, and it does make you hungry for some sweet treats. It's hosted by Justin Wilman, and it's very fun. And by the way, one of the guest judges is one of the previous winners of one of my other favorite shows, The Great British Bake Off, or The Great British Baking Show, depending on which country you're in, what they call it. One of my favorite shows. Love that. Uh, and he was a previous winner, and he's very good. Great baker. Um, yes. Yeah, so that is on Netflix today. Now. Coming up on Netflix tomorrow is the much anticipated. I made that up, but I don't know how anticipated it is, guys, because I thought the first season was crazy. Well, the season two even crazier. The craziest dating show ever. Sexy Beasts is back for season two tomorrow. Yes, this is the show where you're trying to see if you get along with somebody's personality before you know what they look like, so you don't have that instant first attraction. But here's what my concern is, guys: Are you really? Going to be、um, interested in like an alien or a, a tree. You're, you're dressed in these crazy characters. It's like, huh? I, I don't think anybody would have you know that connection talking to somebody who looks super duper creepy crazy. But I have watched all of season two already, and I love it. It's out tomorrow. Take a look at the trailer. This can be the beginning of an epic love story, or it can be a disaster. <laughs> well, I'll be honest. Either works for us. Welcome to the weirdest blind date ever. I feel you're like hairy bit. And what are you looking for in that life partner? The mermaid is my spirit animal, and a lot of people think that they're fake. I think they're real. You think they're real? Yeah. I don't know if mermaids are real. I'm not a historian or scientist. I am definitely looking for a girl that's like my mom, but doesn't look like my mom. So if that makes sense. Well, yeah, that'd be weird. I didn't expect that she was beautiful. I just couldn't see it through the mask. I mean, that is the point of the entire show. Bump a dump a dump bump bump bump. Yeah.、Um, spoiler alert! If you watch season one, spoiler alert: they're all good-looking people. So, I mean, the thing is, you're not going to make a wrong choice. You just have to pick the.、Uh, guys, I wish I said this last season. I'll say it again. I wish they would pick just. 
nice everyday people, not like supermodels walking around LA and be like, hey, you wanna dress up as an alien and be in a dating show and then we'll make you, give you some money. No, I want normal people. I want somebody like me on that show, guys, okay? I'm just saying. Sexy Beast comes out tomorrow on Netflix. Uh, okay, finally, uh, I wanna talk about a show coming out on Friday. It's coming out Friday on Apple TV Plus called Acapulco. Now already, by this, does this not scream 1980s to you? Look at this poster, guys. Acapulco looks very interesting and nostalgic. It's actually a show, now Apple TV Plus also had the show called Physical about uh, the woman who started the fitness craze in the 1980s. I think Apple TV Plus is on an 80s craze because I thought it looked like 80s and I looked it up this morning, it's set in 1984. It's actually flashbacks of this guy telling his story of when he was a teenager in Acapulco in 1984. I'm telling you, the color scheme is on point, the costumes, the sets, the really bad 80s wigs. I love it, I'm here for it, and it's all about how to succeed and work hard. Take a look at the totally tubular trailer. Uncle Maximo! Here we go. I've decided to tell you my life story. It all starts in a couple this was the deciding moment in my life. For a poor kid from the streets of Acapulco, the way to a better life was a job at Las Colinas, the most glamorous resort of all. This is where all the action is. One mistake in your career here will be over. Good luck, puppy. So I just started to lay me to a dog. Is that normal here? More normal than you think. <laughs> Maximo, if you want to keep this job, maybe don't hit on the boss's girlfriend. I have this idea what it would be like working at a place like this. But I'm not sure I feel comfortable here. Look at this. Sé que lo que sea que pase ahí, tú solo lo haces para que tengamos un alien. Every dream has its price. Are you willing to risk it? Regresas ya bien noche, oliendo a vergüenza. Ya te dije que a lo que huelo es a cloro. My mother was afraid the resort would change me. But maybe... It would be the other way around. Ya nada de soñarme, no. I love all of those great 80s songs done in Spanish, and I like them. I kind of know the words from the English one, and I'm singing along. Love it. Uh, cool setting. This show I'm going to check out definitely Friday <clears throat> on Apple TV+. Plus. Don't forget you can catch an all-new Mass Singer tonight and all-new Alter Ego that you definitely want to check out. And Kelly, I've watched tonight's Mass Singer. Okay. I've watched it. About it. I can't tell you nothing about it. You just told me you watched it, but that's all you can that's tell That's all me. I can say. And just, I'll say this. Prepare to be shook. Shook? Or shocked. You just you're gonna be shook. Or off balance. You're or gonna rattled. be like, what? You're gonna be like, I'm shook. Mesmerized. Yeah. But yeah. it's it's good. We're back to group A tonight. You know how I didn't know if it was yeah, gonna be group A or group B? We it is group A tonight with another wild card, by the way. The hot pepper is tonight. Oh, the hot pepper. I'll tell you what, I have to say. I really think I like the the first year's mm. costumes better. Now they're kinda, you know, trying to figure out what to do. Okay. It's addictive, Cal. Yeah, I know. Hey, <laughs> thanks for tuning in. To Ozark's Fox AM. Make it great. Great day. See you.